Konnichiwa minasan, Marina desu. How are you guys doing? So today, um, I'm kind of doing all these haul videos because I've received quite a lot. Even though I was not active on most social media, I did get packages, of course. That didn't mean that I stopped buying things. Um, but I received a very big um, box in the in the mail like a couple weeks ago of a figure, a Miku figure that I kind of almost completely forgot that I pre-ordered slash paid until recently. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you that one. <laughs> Last year, I pre-ordered the Hatsune Miku 10th Anniversary um, Memorial Box and I got it with the archive book. So the reason I was so big, the box, is because the actual Miku box is kind of like a good, decent size. I'll show you in a little bit. When I pre-ordered, I believe it was last, maybe even like a year and a half ago I pre-ordered it. It was at least a year and a half. Um, it was originally slated to be released in December of 2018, but it got delayed several months. And then um, it was slated for May, this past May of 2019. But then it was delayed a little bit, so I just got it like about uh, like a month ago, maybe uh, at most. And I was really, I honestly forgot that I got this because it was just been so long since I pre-ordered it. So I have the the item right here. But before I show you the figure, of course, I'll show you the the um, archive book that I got. So the archive book is basically exactly what it sounds like. A book of everything Miku. So this is what it looks like. It's inside a black sleeve and as you can already tell like it has Miku colors so like at the very bottom the very bottom has the tent and then you know it's black and then on the side it has like the traditional Miku pink color. So then open Woo. so then it's green. So, in this book is basically everything that has to do with Miku. I'm gonna show you a few pages because it's about 390 pages. Or actually a couple more pages more than that because I don't think they include the first page. No, yes they do. So it is 300 and 90 pages front and back um, so obviously if this was just one page this would be about 600 pages of Miku um, so starting from the start from the start is Hatsune Miku archive so like I said it's basically everything and anything Miku is in here this is just like word from the president of Krypton Future Media, President Hiroki Ito. I'm not gonna read all that because I don't like reading in general. <laughs> I'll read it later and maybe I'll translate it for you guys. Then this next page, it's literally all words that, um, just a random words. So it's like, like here it says Nendroid, Wiki Karen. So basically, like words across like what Miku has been in. So like from culture wise, books wise, works wise, art wise. So it has been 10 years um, as of 2018 of Miku's existence. And basically this book is everything and anything Miku related from merch, music, figures, games, a lot of stuff, <laughs> clothes, like, like honestly there's so much things out there of Miku. And then these are the contents. So, as you can see, the first, first illustration and history of Miku live, which are like live concerts, events. So this is like, like festivals and stuff that Miku's have been in. Um, the figures she's been in, songs, Project Viva, which is the video games, and then goods, which is basically all the merch. Um, so the first few pages. So this is like Miku's original design, um, and then they show like different variations of her, and then here are like the different variations. The Miku append, 
trying to see that closer. So yeah, honestly, it's a lot. And then this is like the V3 English. So like her first English voice pack, kind of. And this is the Chinese one. Um, oh no, this is the Chinese one. So yeah, there's, there's just a lot. So this is the English pack. And then, um, and it also tells you like the release dates of each. So for V3 um, English, so as you see there in 2013, that was released. Honestly, it's a lot that this video I will not cover at all because there's just so much. And then this is like one of the newer figures or actually like a newer concept art, like a new art illustration of her. This was, I believe it was like this year actually. Yeah, this is like the winner for like the 10th anniversary and they're, they're um, making this into a figure. So hopefully I get that too. But as you can see, this is like a lot. Like this is a lot of illustrations of Miku. Like all official illustrations, not like they're all like fan made, obviously. But like the like illustrations that like have been on official items. So, so you'll see a lot of stuff um, here. Honestly, like there's just so much. And then here, the Tracy Miku history of Miku. Yeah, so that's how many songs she's had, original songs. Um, and then, oh, total views on Miko Miko. Um, total of uh, Miku related videos. So I can't even, I can't even count that number. <laughs> There's so many. And like, I really like how they give you the statistics of like all Miku related things. That's just so freaking cool. And then here, it'll show you like history of the software, like of Miku's software and of the other Vocaloids. So Lin and Len, um, they're, theirs didn't come until a little bit later, like a couple, a year or two. Um, they're the second generation, so they came right after Miku. But yeah, there's just so much here. There's just so much. Oh, here it's like, this I probably skipped. I skipped history quite a bit went to live events so this is like the miku expos some pictures of the miku expos of la and new york i believe this was the first miku expo i believe in the united states at least i believe it was the first miku expo in 2014. um yeah yeah there's like so much here um but basically like i said this book is all of miku I have not got the chance to read it and like oh yeah and here like I said like I mentioned like merch all the merch with Miku all of that and it, they have it divided from years so like for here these are the merch created from 2018 to 2011 and then 28 2008 to 2010 um, there's just so much guys like there's just so much here um, and then of course Project Diva we go into a little bit more detail about Project Diva um, and like whew, yeah it's just a lot honestly like I didn't know like I got the um, archive book until it arrived in the mail I'm really happy I got it because there's probably a lot of things in here that I had no idea about about Mufu and I'm excited to read it, but of course not right now. So on to the next thing. Um, so that was the archive book, which is anything and everything you do. So this little beauty is the box that the archive book and the figure came in. So that's the Miku 10th anniversary version. As you can see, that's what the figure looks like. Just the front. And then that's the, the design, like the original illustration for it. And that's the back of the figure. And then the other side of the figure. And then this is just the top. So as you can see, it's a, it's a big, big thing. And we're gonna open it up. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I already took out the figure. It's actually already in my display over there. I'm gonna show you 
this is what the archive book came in in this plastic. And then, and then this is just like the cover. There's just the plastic for the figure. So I'm gonna get the figure now for you. So I would usually show you the figure at my little station over there, but it's really hot today and I really don't wanna be in heat anymore. So I'm just gonna show you here real quick. So this here is the my newest figure. As you can see, she is very, very rainbowy, which I love. You can see her her bust. Um, has that rainbow spectrum on it, and then her skirt, also very rainbowy. Look at her like feet. Can you see like it's like see-through? You can see her toenails actually, like her um, her fingernail. Her toenails are like painted. It's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of make out. She's just very cute. My favorite thing about figures um, is when their nails are painted. So, I don't know if you can see, but her nails are painted. I love it when nails are painted because that is like a very fine detail that I appreciate so much in figures. And I don't know, I, I hate it when the fingernails are not painted because it's like, I paid all this money and you didn't even pay my fingernails or her fingernails. That this is my newest Miku figure. Um, I'm really happy and honestly, I'm glad that I got her because I didn't really expect her. I mean, she's always so much cuter in real life than in the pictures you see on Facebook or whatever from other people. She was a little bit pricey, I will admit. Um, I got this from Ami Ami and they have like a point system. So I had points on my account already, so I was able to get it for like 60 or $70 off. Um, but that was like, oh, I saved a lot of money with that. That was basically like kind of made the shipping a little bit more affordable. It made her a little bit more affordable, definitely, but still worth it. So that was it for this week's video. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like and comment down below if you got your own memorial box version or just the archive. Even honestly, like just the archive book was like really cool. Like I didn't really get to sit down and read it all yet, um, but I can definitely say that I learned a lot about Miku. <laughs> yeah, and that's it for me. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.